Hello and welcome to another Double Sleeve Review, where today we're going to be reviewing the Katana Inner Sleeves by Ultima Guard. Are they any good? A premium inner sleeve maybe? Or is it just a waste of money with a fancy name? We'll find out. When reviewing inner sleeves, we like to break it down into five categories. Double sleeving, security, foil clarity, toughness and price. So let's start with double sleeving. And firstly, let's put the cards inside the sleeves. The fit is absolutely fine. Um, they are perfectly snug and tightly fitted without damaging the card. Um, there is a thin, maybe millimeter or so, um, bit of extra space where the sleeve is slightly longer than a standard trading card, which is absolutely fine. Then we invert and put inside of an outer sleeve. Here, we're using the Katana outer sleeves and You'll notice, without any problem, we sleeved up quite a lot of sleeves here um, at, off camera, um, but you can see we do have a handful here and absolutely fine. At no point did we get any inner sleeve ride up where the inner sleeve starts to come loose when you're sleeving into the outer sleeve. And the actual fit is really good. The extra little millimeter or so stops the car from touching the bottom of the outer sleeve and it still maintains inside of the outer sleeve really nicely. A great fit and you know what? Very impressive for double sleeving. Next, we move on to security and always a nerve wracking test. We do the water test. This is where we put the card inside of the inner sleeve, inside of an outer sleeve, again, the Katana outer, and we dunk it into a bowl of water for easily five seconds, possibly a bit longer. We take it out, we pat it dry, and we carefully try and remove all the water we can as if you had spilt your own drink or you dropped these cards into a puddle and, and you were trying to look after them. And as you see, we remove the card from the inner and outer sleeve and there is no water damage. I'm pleased to say that the majority of these um, tests we do, there is no water damage when you double sleeve. However, it's always important to check to see what this fit is like. And this one, absolutely fine. Next, we look at foil clarity and as per the box, um, these are very transparent. Um, the lighting that we use on our videos is not perfect for seeing the foil, but you can kind of see the shininess of it. And you can also see that there is absolutely no difference between the card and when we put half the card into the inner sleeve. Uh, it is absolutely fine, um, really nice and clear, um, and yeah, great job on foil clarity. Next, we look at toughness, and simple tests are done for toughness. It is the one finger stretch test, which as you can see here, predominantly is very, very good. Um, very rarely do we get an inner sleeve that when any force is placed around the seams, um, actually doesn't rip, doesn't snap, doesn't break, um, and almost all the force goes through the actual plastic of the sleeve. So um, really good. There's a couple that rip, but by and large, this is really, really strong seams, which is a great piece of news when you're buying slightly more expensive inner sleeves. You don't want them to be ripping and breaking when you're sleeving with them. Um, the next test we do is the uh, the card capacity test, um, which is where we just chuck as many cards into one of the sleeves as possible to see if the increased pressure ends up bending the sleeves or ends up breaking the seams. And here, we just chuck a load of cards in. It just doesn't seem to want to budge at all. And even after taking the, the cards out, the sleeve is still in pretty good nick. So definitely a high quality card sleeve for us. The other thing to mention when it comes to toughness is these sleeves are actually the thinnest sleeves that we have ever tested. Um, they are 40 microns for all of you uh, measurement nerds out there. Um, normally in a sleeves are around 50 microns. So largely it's irrelevant but that thinner sleeve um, will add up if you've got 100 cards um, you definitely will notice it and if you want the thinnest sleekest uh, double sleeving um, then this inner sleeve has got to be in your pair of sleeves lastly we look at price and if anything was going to trip up this inner sleeve it would be the price uh, these are retailing in the uk at about five pound fifty I don't want to do any comparison. I'll let you guys do that. I'll let you check your own countries or wherever you buy your sleeves from to see what price you can get them for. But we always find Ultimate Guard quite tricky to get hold of, um, randomly out of stock sometimes. Um, and in this case, definitely very expensive. Katana is obviously their most premium range. However, very, very expensive. I would hasten to say 
possibly twice as expensive as some other inner sleeves that we rate probably just as highly. So um, you really have to want these sleeves specifically, or maybe you can't get hold of any others in order to, um, to pick them up. That's just our view, but certainly more expensive. So there you go, a quick review of the Katana inner sleeves. Um, have you had these, have you tried these? Um, have you been thinking about these? Um, definitely worth checking reviews out when you're spending a lot more money on a product, and these are definitely a lot more money. Um, we are happy to recommend them if you are happy to pay the price. They're a good product, uh, they're definitely more premium. Um, however, there are other inner sleeves on the market that we think does just as good a job. Um, the Game Genic inner sleeves, the Ultra Pro inner sleeves, very good. I mean, the Dragon Shields are okay, although slightly larger, um, and they're all probably half the price, if not at least definitely cheaper. So um, they're not a bad product, definitely well done Ultimate Guard. However, I don't know if they'd necessarily be my number one pick, certainly not if you look at value. Did we get that review right? Do you love these sleeves? Do you think they're amazing? Are they the best ones on the market for you? Or maybe you agree with us, they're probably not worth the extra cost. Let us know in the comments below. Um, a massive thank you to all the subscribers we've had recently. We're nearly at a thousand subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. So um, once we get there, there'll be some sort of 1,000 subscriber um, video, which we're probably gonna go and do some sort of overall um, review style um, sleeves or deck boxes or something to give you an idea of what the overall market's doing, but we'll see. Um, and yeah, look, let us know in the comments below what other products you want us to review. We've had loads of people telling us the things they want us to review next and we're getting there. There's a long list, um, but either way, a big thank you from us and we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.